Hi, I'd like to talk to you today about a way that hopefully we can, we can increase your sales so that you can give yourself a raise. Uh, it's called optimizing a customer, and it's a, it's a concept the way you can get the most out of every customer that comes in your door. Uh, it's, it's funny, those of you that have been uh, selling for a while, I remember back the, the old 90s, the good old days, when there were three or four customers for every salesperson you had on your floor. Well, you know, you know lately that hasn't happened. Now we've got three or four salespeople for every customer that walks in the door, and that's so now, now you've got that, that, that slower traffic, so you've got to make sure you get the most out of each customer that comes in your door. Optimizing that customer uh, is a way to make sure that all of his needs are taken care of in your store. And that's one of the things we want to talk about today, and there's a couple ways to do it. I like to think back about when I, when I buy clothing. You go to a, to a higher-end clothing store, uh, you go to buy a jacket. By the time you get done getting the jacket fitted, they have shirts all ready for you, pants ready for you, shoes everything that's there just all lined up so that you can coordinate and really you know, maximize the uh, effect of just buying that one jacket. If you look at the person and tell them, no, you're fine, you've got plenty of that stuff, you don't need it, they leave it alone. But normally your eye catches it, you look at it, you see that shirt, you see those pants, yeah, that would be kind of nice. You wanted to spend 300, you end up buying $600 worth of clothes and you walk out happy because you've been taken care of. Now there are ways you can do that on the sales floor and your furniture floor and not be very pushy. And that's one of the things that we're going to talk about today. Now let's look over here at Janet and Ryan and see how Janet handles this. Ryan, you told me you just bought a 60 inch flat screen TV. Congratulations, I wish I had one. And that you're looking for a recomfortable recliner. We've got a great line of stressless recliners. I can't wait to show you. But before we start finding the chair that's right for you, I'd like to know a little bit about the room where the television's going in. So can you help me draw that room? Uh, that's how can I describe it. It's, um, I live in a townhouse, so okay. it's usually one of those uh, places where the dining room, living room, or like one, you know, big a room. great room, basically. Uh, fireplace in a corner, uh, sliding doors onto a patio. I guess that's best I could describe it. Now, great. What Janet just did is she called the term called sketching the room. Sketching the room is a real important process in optimizing your customer. What you do then is you get into the whole room. You get the idea of what other pieces there are, are in that room. She finds out are there opportunities to sell end tables, coffee tables, things like that. She's going to talk to them about the sofa in a little bit. Optimizing that ability uh, to sell all the pieces that this customer needs. Now, being a smart salesperson, she found out what the customer needs. Now she's going to try to determine what it is in her store that's going to fulfill those needs. And she's going to stay with the best quality product that she has because that's going to usually reflect a higher price point. It's going to be better for the customer, a higher ticket for her. It's going to be win-win for both of them. Let's see how they go from here. Ryan, now that we found your chair, I'm so excited for you. I know you can't wait to get this into your home. I did hear you mention that you had an older sectional. Are you ready to replace it at this time? Uh, no, no. Not now? I have, uh, you know, the way ages kids are, they're just going to wreck something sure. like that. So uh, that's definitely completely hold off understandable. On that one. The great thing about the chair that you've selected, for future reference, it does have a design match sofa, and that sofa can be made into a sectional. So I'm going to circle that sofa for you back here. It's the design match of your chair. And when you're ready for a new sofa, please call me and I'll be happy to not only show you that sofa, but... Straight. Okay, now, Janet was very smart here. She talked to the customer about her chair, got the chair sold, but didn't just want to stop at that. Wanted to try and maybe see if they needed any other pieces. When she sketched the room, she knew he had a sofa. He talked about the, the sectional that he had. He talked about the fact that it was a little bit old. So she questioned him about that. Now, Ryan did not go for it. He said, okay, I want that. I don't want to make that big purchase right now. But that didn't stop her. She gave him the catalog, put the page, marked the page. It's going to be the coordinating piece. She planted the seed that may become a sale in the future. Salespeople that have done this have found that a good, around 10% of those customers come back within that first year and do buy that sofa, or at least buy extra pieces out of that catalog. So it's a great way to try to increase those sales. Uh, also, at this point, she's got that customer's information, and she's going to try to maintain contact with this customer. 
we run sales as we do throughout the year. We've got a sale coming up that is our, our home uh, seating sale where they get additional discounts for buying extra seating, which is great for people with sofas. So she may contact this customer when that home seating sale comes up to let them know that this is, this is something that is uh, uh, possible for him to save some money on that extra pieces that he's looking for. Also, in the future, she keeps her customer list, new catalogs, sends out the catalogs to the new people, sends out catalogs to her old customers that have been with us before. Uh, and that way, keeping in contact with them, always planting that seed, always trying to bring uh, those customers back into the store to buy from you. Because our best sofa customer is the person who's already purchased the chair. <laughs>